In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Calamity of the Church of Rome in These End Times by Ned Doherty, August 2nd, 2021, 1 p.m. at The Rock, Shrine of Our Lady of the Island, Eastport, New York. Our Lady of Light, I come to you on this bright and beautiful summer day as Our Lady of Light for the first time in a year. Most recently, I have been appearing to you as Our Lady of America because my messages to you have been focused on the people of America more specifically, but as well as on the people of the whole world, for America is the last bastion, the last standing of democracy in your world, to defeat the satanic plan to install a globalist new world order, a great reset as the minions of Satan call their draconian plan to entrap all of you in a totalitarian, fascist, Marxist, and communist state of enslavement. You, my brothers and sisters, who are powerful prayer warriors, are challenged with the task of defeating this globalist new world order in your secular realms as well as through your prayers in the spiritual realms. However, I come to you today as Our Lady of Light, for it is my mission to convey to you the light of love that originates from the Father in heaven that is spread to all of you here on earth through his Son and your Redeemer, Jesus Christ, as well as through your Heavenly Mother, who looks over all of you in this valley of tears. As Our Lady of Light, my mission transcends the importance of your earthly missions to save the world from its own destruction. My mission as your Lady of Light rises above all sovereignties and nationalities to prepare you for the eternal kingdom by spreading the Father's love for all of you. Therefore, it is my responsibility to assist my Son and your Redeemer, Jesus Christ, in the salvation of souls, so that your journey here on earth is not forsaken, and so that when your mission here is over, you return to the heavenly realms which God the Father has always intended as your eternal home. Thanks be to God. While you are here on earth, I am available to all who seek my assistance, so that each and every one of you can avail yourselves of the Father's love for all his children. I am here to tell you today that you must seek from the Father a pathway through his eternal Son, so that you are purified and sanctified in your earthly finality to deserve an eternal and heavenly reward with the Father in heaven. The difficulty for all of humanity is greater now than ever before to find the pathway to the Father in heaven, for you now live in an earthly world where your governments, your places of learning, your corporations, your media, and all other global spheres of influence are attempting to distract you from your journey your mission that the Father in heaven has ordained for each and every one of you. In these end times, as predicted in both ancient and modern prophecy, your earthly institutions that were intended to lead you to the Father in heaven through his Son have gone astray. Lately, the Church of Rome itself has unveiled its true colors in these end times, with the exception of a few leaders who are still inspired by the Father in heaven. The leaders of your church have fallen under the spell of the evil one. As predicted in these end times, the church is collapsing all around you, and with each proclamation is peeling the layers away from the traditions of the church to expose a rotten core that has been infested by Satan himself. But do not allow this frank admission of the calamity of the church of Rome in these end times to cloud your thinking in that I, as your Heavenly Mother, command you to support the true Church of my Son, your Savior and Redeemer, Jesus Christ. For my Son's Church does not consist of mortar and stone, or proclamations from those who are now in league with your mortal enemy. 
The church of my son consists of all of you who regard yourselves as temples of the Holy Spirit, for it is the Holy Spirit that defines you and forms you as members of my son's church. It is the Holy Spirit that pours forth the energy that is in its purest form, the energy of God's love for all his children. It is the power of the Holy Spirit that molds and forms you as powerful prayer warriors who exist and fight in defense of the Father in heaven, his Son, your Redeemer, your Heavenly Mother, and all the angels and saints who are assisting you from the heavenly realms in this final battle of the end times. When you think and meditate on the power of the Holy Spirit, you must recognize that you are calling upon the purest love of the Father in heaven to be instilled within your very own spirit and soul. The love of the Father is the essence of existence, and it is available to all of you as God's children, simply by asking through prayer and meditation for the Father's love to enter your spirit and soul to guide you through these end times. You can no longer rely on any other figure in your earthly realms to provide you with such love and support. In these end times, it is finally and in essence the love of the Father in heaven through his Son, the Redeemer, that will give you the strength and the shield to survive through these end times, so that you will earn your place in the heavenly kingdom. So be it. Thanks be to God. Message ended, 1.25 p.m. Join us in praying the Holy Rosary for our priests via live stream on YouTube. The schedule is in the description box of the latest video or at priestrosary.org.